Hello and welcome to the One Man Renegade Productions YouTube channel. I'm your host, Theon Brigg B, and today we're continuing the celebration for 500 subs. Yesterday, we kicked off the celebration with the video where I started opening up a bunch of box of cards, or going through a bunch of box of cards that my friend gave me, a bunch of hockey cards. He's like, I don't know what's in here, but here, have fun. So I'm like, all right. And then I decided, you know, for the 500 subscribers uh, video, which thank you everyone again if you're a subscriber, 500, a uh, great milestone as we strive now for a thousand, uh, but 500 is a stepping stepping point. So, uh, so I started opening up that, those boxes and looking through them. Eh, they're mostly just common stuff, but we got three more boxes that I got to go through. Uh, so figure let's let's do it for a fun 500 subscriber video. Um, but if you missed uh, part one of that video, uh, I'll link it right up there. You can check it out if you missed that, and then come back, and then you can check this out as we continue uh, going through these boxes. Uh, hockey cards, mostly 90s so far, so far, through the first couple boxes, it's been 90s, um, uh, you know, varying, varying, early 90s, varying products, mostly all commons. Uh, but if you're not subscribed yet to the channel, you might want to do that. Hit that subscribe button. Become one of the next 500 as we go towards 1,000 subscribers. And also hit the turn turn on the notifications if you haven't even if you are subscribed or not. If you haven't turned on the notifications, turn that on. Uh, and also um, uh, give this video a nice thumbs up and hit that share button. Share this with everyone. Know head on down in the comments and uh, uh, tell me when you subscribed why you subscribe what video made you subscribed or or whatever else you want to just say hi or something like that and then check out the links in the description for all my other inter internet stuff ebay facebook instagram um x all that stuff all right so we got three more boxes we're gonna try to get through in this video um the last video was getting pretty long and i'm like i'm not gonna be able to do this all in one video so i'm gonna spread the love out a little bit so we'll see how far we get and how long it takes me in this video and uh and we may get it all done today, or we might make it into another video. But let's see what we got going on here. Looks like we're starting things off with some bricked up 93 Donruss, which I was kind of surprised. I know some of it was bricked up. Oh, these ones are real bricked up. Those first two boxes weren't too bad in the bricking, even though they have some of the same stuff in it. So this this could get uh, this could get dicey. This could get dicey, very dicey. Uh, I don't know why this. See, that's that's the thing about bricking, the bricking phenomenon. I don't get it, because people will say, well, it depends on where you stored the cards and and how they were kept and blah blah blah. These cards were literally in the same box as the other box that was in another box that has been in the same box for I uh, I don't know how long. My buddy said he hadn't opened this box in many many years. Could have been thirty odd years. Why would this box have bricked up and the other box didn't brick up when they were in the same place at the same time the whole time? Makes no sense. I got I got nothing on it. Because um, that's the same thing. It's like I have boxes. I mean, I didn't have them the whole time, but it's like since I had them, like why did some of them, why are some of them bricked up and some of them don't brick up from this time period? I don't get it. I, don't, I just don't get it. Um, but yeah, here's a bunch of 93 Donruss. It looks like we got some 93 Leaf coming up. But yeah, if I have to un unstick all of these cards, these videos are gonna uh, this video is gonna take a while. Uh, Dino Cicerelli there from 93 Leaf. And some 93. Got some 92. 93 score, 92 pinnacle. I believe that's 92. No, 93 pinnacle. Pinnacles all look the same. I never know what year it is. Chris Chelios. It's, it's an alright one, I guess. Alright, so let's see what else we got. Got Adam Oates. Solid, solid. It's a 91. Stadium Club, and then... Some upper deck. Is this 93 upper deck? Yeah, I guess. 93 upper deck. Then 93 Stadium Club. Tepo Numenon. 
But yeah, I still, I, I, someone knows. Please let me know in the comments down below. Marty McSorley, who I believe is still suspended. He just never came back. He got suspended indefinitely from the Bruins after the hit on Bruce, uh, Donald Brashear. And then he just never came back. So in my mind, he's still suspended. Brian Bellows, uh, 93 Upper uh, sorry, Stadium Club. But like, why would the previous boxes that had very similar products and cards from the same years uh, that were in that, that the other box didn't stick or, you know, not too much, a little bit here and there. But then this box that was in the same main box, now these are all sticking. I don't, I don't, I just don't get it. I do not get it. Doesn't seem to rhyme or reason towards when cards stick and when they don't. But I'll, I'll try to get through this. Jeff Augers. Don Sweeney, of course, the uh, president of the Bruins. He's or he's the or he's the GM. Cam Neely is the president. I always get them mixed up. GM, president, whatever. They both they both do stuff. Uh, yeah, so uh, I'm trying to just trying to think of s topics to talk about that I didn't already talk about in the first video. Um, yeah, I mean, so if you missed the first video, I mean, go back and watch the first video, but for some reason you missed it, you're kind of like, what's the deal with this stuff? Like, what, 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 what is going on here? Yeah, so a buddy of mine a couple years ago was like, you know, um, you know, I was doing the cards and the channel and stuff, and he was like, hey, I got, a, got this whole box of stuff at my parents' house that... They want me to do something with, and I think it's just a whole bunch of hockey cards. And he's like, I don't really know what to do with them. I don't know if there's anything good in them. I haven't looked at them in forever. So I was like, right, I'll take, I'll take them off your hands. He's like, All right, you got to do a video about it, though. I was like, All right, I will. And then like two years went by, and he kept forgetting to give it to me, or I forget to ask him. Kept it forget asking him about it, and all of a sudden, we we're gonna go to the Bruins game together, and he's he was gonna be in town. Uh, and he's like, Oh, he's got to stop by his parents. I'm like, hey, you're stopping by your parents before the game. Grab those hockey cards. And he's like, oh yeah, I'll grab them. So he grabs them, brings them over. I didn't, I haven't looked at them until yesterday when I start. I say the yesterday's video, which actually I'm recording this them the same day, um, but I actually uh, I haven't looked really at it. Sean McClure, it's a decent one there. I hadn't really looked at. Um, to the box other than when he gave me the box he's like there's a special little bonus item in there that not card related but it was very much related to the day he gave it to me and i apologize if i'm repeating the story if you already watched the pre previous video but this is for the benefit of the people that may have missed the first video for some reason they're watching them out of order or something i don't know like i don't know why you would do that go watch the other video but um so anyways like so i quickly glanced in the box and i'll show you what was in there and why it's that why it was so appropriate at the time. Uh, but let's get through this little stack right here. Roman Hamlick, Benoit Hogue. Yeah, I don't understand why these were sticking and the other box didn't stick. Rob Brindamore, Tom Barrasso, Peter Bondra. After going through these cards, I definitely am gonna have to go play some like NHL '93 or for '94, though, because all these names: Ted Donato, John Van Breedstrike. Who'd I drop? Dropped another Ted Donato. Chris Lindbergh. Fans Reams Dyke. Can I? Luke Robitaille, Sylvain Cote, Kirk Muller, yeah, 
Yeah, so anyways, uh, yeah, so it has nothing to do with hockey, nothing to do with cards, but is a very interesting item that happened to be, and, and kind of fit the 90s, you know, the uh, 90s theme of this box for sure, because uh, all these cards that have been in this have been hockey cards from the 90s for sure. Vincent Dampus, Stefan Quintal. Gary Lehman. So yeah, so I open up the box, and this little guy was in there. A little Stone Cold Beanie Baby-esque. It's not, not official Beanie Baby. I don't know who made these. Um, Attitude Bears. Uh, <laughs> Stone Cold Steve Austin Attitude Bear. Uh, and the day he gave this to me, we were going to the Bruins game, and it was 316. They played the Flyers, um, but it was 316, so it was a very appropriate day to get the stone cold bear um and also hockey cards because we were going to hockey game so it all kind of came together um bruins won although they almost blew the game so yeah that, that was interesting and as i'm recording this i don't know when this is exactly going to go up because it depends on when i actually get the 500 subscribers and then obviously that the other video that i you know yesterday's video went up first um and then this video but I'm recording this the day the Bruins are about to play game six against Florida in the, I guess, what is it, what would it be called, the the Atlantic Division Finals or whatever it would be, I don't know. Um, but the second round of the playoffs, of course, they're down three to two, but they they were down three to one, they forced the game five, or sorry, they forced the game six in game five. Jeremy Roenick, it's a nice one. Um... Surprising me. I didn't think they were going to win. They haven't played very well uh, outside of game one. And even in game one, they played well for like, I don't know. I guess they played pretty well in game one. But game two, not so much. Game three, no. Game four, they started off okay and then fell apart. Actually, game two, they same same way. They started off okay, fell apart. Game four, yeah, they lost. So then they're down 3-1. Headed to headed back to Florida, and they pulled it off barely. <laughs> so we'll see what happens tonight. And by the time you're watching this, that's long since over, and who knows what, where they're at. Or maybe it takes me four months to get three more subscribe four more subscribers, and this buddy goes up the start of the next season. I don't know. Uh, let's see Jamnov. Glenn Murray, of course, long-time Bruin. Because he was Bruin, then they traded him. I can't remember if they traded him away or they, or maybe just his deal was up. I don't remember. I feel like they traded him away. But then they traded him back back for him. Him and Joseph Stumple for, what was it? It was him, Joseph Stumple. I feel like there was someone else in that trade. For Jason Allison, I believe that's what it was, with the Kings. Back in 02, I want to say. Or is it a 01? Somewhere on that. that eh, I think it was 02. Have to look it up for sure. To remember. Or just let me know in the comments if you remember the deal, the trade. It was Joseph Stumple. Glenn Murray, and maybe somebody else for Jason Allison and somebody. I, I don't remember. I'm going to have to look it up. It's going to bother me now. All right. Pat Verbeek. Got Jeff Bess. All right, moving on. We got some 93 down, uh, upper deck. See, there was plenty of 93 upper deck in that other box. And they didn't stick at all, or very, very limitedly. And this is in the same box of box. And these are all sticking. And I don't get it. I don't get it. Kevin Hatcher. Craig Janney, a 100-point club. Rick Tockett.
All right. Bobby Holik. Back to 93 Stadium Club. All right, I'm gonna take a break for one second as I'm, I'm gonna look that up about uh, Joe Mullen. Decent one there. Uh, Glenn Murray, Joseph Stumple. Who else was in that trade? And when was that trade? Uh, let's see. Let's find out if my computer wants to work. Glenn Murray. Let's see if I can figure this out. There we go. All right, so the Bruins traded him and Brian Smolinski to the Penguins for Sean McEachran and Kevin Stevens in August of 1995. Then he was traded by the Penguins to the Kings for Eddie Ol Olchuk in 1997, March 1997. Then October 24th, 2001. Also, oh, it was 2001. Okay. Um, it's traded by the Kings with Joseph Stumpel to the Bruins for Jason Allison and Miko, Al Miko Alantra. Iloranta, Iloranta, sorry, Miko Iloranta, who I don't totally remember, but there we go. So yeah, I so like I knew there was someone else involved in that, but I couldn't remember who it was, and that's why I couldn't remember who it was. But there we go. That's there's your little trivia from Glenn Murray, um, and then he played until I don't know when did he retire? I don't know, like oh oh eight, yep oh eight, yeah. He retired in 08. So I guess his last game would have been that... Would have been that game... Game 7. Okay, I remember that game. Oh, man, that game annoyed me so much. Bruins came back. They were down. I can't even remember what they were down in the series against Montreal. Won a great Game 6. Forced a Game 7 in Montreal. And then they absolutely smoked in Game 7. Of course, then they came back the next year and beat him, but. So that was his last game he ever played. Interesting. Interesting. Of course, got season tickets the next year, so. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, but anyways, uh, Steve Vines, Kevin Tad. Yeah, there's, I mean, Dave Andrushuk. a decent one I guess yeah I don't know uh, <laughs> it's annoying the cards sticking together it's also a bunch of just common hockey cards so I mean I, I didn't know really what to expect to be in these boxes this doesn't surprise me at all uh, oh but the Joe Sackick again Joe Sackick getting left behind I don't know if my buddy just didn't like Joe Sackick or whatever but like that's the second time we've gotten I mean there's like no like Gretzky's or or uh, Lemuse or, or anything like that, but, you know, it's been some Joe Sackick. And I guess, you know, in 93, maybe he wasn't as big a star as he would go on to be. I suppose that could be part of it, but... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know when, I don't know when he went through this last. Could have been 93 for all I know. Joe Mullen... a brick just total brick like why i don't understand the other box wasn't like this the other two boxes i should say were like this and this one's just a brick city there's kevin stevens we're talking about him a minute ago um penguins but now i'm wondering 
Well, I don't want to get into the... It's like, what? Kevin Stevens... Was he then a part of the deal for Jason Ellison? No, it's going to bother me. Because that was 95. Glenn Murray had traded the Penguins. We got Kevin Stevens as part of that deal. But then I feel like we traded Kevin Stevens somewhere. But where? And when? And to who? Traded by the Bruins... Oh, traded by the Bruins to the Kings for Rick Tockett. Okay. Okay. Who then the Kings traded him to the Rangers for Luke Robitaille, which just seems weird to me. I was like, wait, Luke Robitaille got traded back to the Kings? Um, but Rick Tockett was part of the deal, I think, for Jason Ellison. It was like him, Oates. Um, who else was in that deal? Let's see. Let's figure that out. Sorry, I know this is going down a rabbit hole a little bit. Trade by the Bruins with the Adam Oates, oh, Bill Ranford, to the Capitals for a third-round draft pick who ended up being Lee Gorin, Jason Nelson, Jim Carrey, the hockey player, obviously not the not the comedian, uh, an actor, and um, Anson Carter. Yeah, okay. So then, in turn... Jason Nelson got traded to Glimmer. It's a circular circular thing somehow. Kind of, sort of, a little bit. Glenn Murray. Yeah, these are all bricked. This is going to be a disaster. Happy 500 subs, right? Here's a bunch of bricked up cards. I don't know. The last video, they weren't bricked. I don't understand how the same cards... In the same, like, main box, but in different smaller boxes, have different, uh, affected them differently somehow. I, I, I don't understand it. Unless these boxes weren't in the same box until more recent or something, I don't know. Don't really know how these were stored, they were just given to me in one giant box. How long those box smaller boxes were in the giant box, who's to say? Not me, because I have no idea. But I'm not finding much of anything other than commons, anyways. So, I don't know how interesting this. Oh, Keith Kachuk. That's that's a decent one. Keith Kachuk. Of course, his sons are doing well these days, and there's Glenn Murray again, who sent me down the rabbit hole before. Lidstrom, all right. Lidstrom's a good name. So we're finding some names now. Gary Roberts was a solid player. There's Jeremy Roenick. Again. All right. Theo Fleury. got star rookies i wonder who the star rookies were Dodie wood star star rookies checklist brian smolinski um there's brian smolinski the best story about brian smolinski is if you have a copy of nhl 95 on the sega genesis and you go to the edit lineups go try this out if you have a copy of nhl 95 or the sega genesis if you go to the Bruins lineup, try to switch Brian Smolinski for Cam Neely. Like, normally, if you pick, like, a guy that's already in the lineup and you pick him and, like, take the other guy and pick that guy's name, it'll just switch, swap him. For some reason, in that game, it doesn't swap him and just adds a second Brian Smolinski. And then there's two Brian Smolinskis playing, but, like, for some reason, like, that, the second Brian Smolinski doesn't, doesn't, he has a mind of his own. And he just, like, skates around. Sometimes he's not there. Sometimes he just shows up randomly. And he'll skate around cheering like he scored a goal or they won the game. And then sometimes if he gets the puck, then he gets stuck and you can't do anything. It's really ridiculous and funny. But uh, I suggest you try it out if you have a Sega Genesis and a copy of NHL 95. Or you can, you know, get an emulator and 
do it that way too. I think it will. I think it will work on that too. It's one of the weirdest things I ever saw, and it only worked for that specific scenario. I don't know what was about. I mean, maybe there was other scenarios where that would work too, um, and be like that. But that was the only 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 scenario I ever figured out that that would work. And I don't know why I was I was going to switch Cam Neely to Brian Smolitsky's left and right. I don't know why. No idea. It's Mark Recchi. Don't know what my thought process was behind doing that. Um, but and then I was like, wait, why didn't it switch them? What what happened? Why is Smolitsky there twice? The weirdest thing ever. But uh, give it a shot. It's one of those weird game. Game glitches. Very specific, but a weird game glitch. Alright, we're just <laughs> going through this. I might have to do a third part, because this is taking forever. Forever. Chris Chilios again. Bunch of Chris Chilioses. Dimitri Christic. Alright. Don Sweeney. Scott Mellon, dude. Alright. Keep it rolling, keep it rolling, keep it rolling. Um, but yeah, definitely have the urge to play some like NHL 93, 94, 95, like with these names. Just, well, you know, bringing up the memories of playing those games all, all back in those days. Patrick Waugh. That was a good one. Why do you leave that? Patrick was there another Patrick Waugh in here? No. Whatever. Uh yeah, Patrick Waugh. Interesting. That one got left behind. See, that's what I'm saying. You never know what's got left left in these. Not that there's anything that great in 93 Upper Deck anyways, uh, just in general, but... Um, Patrick Waugh is among one of the betters. Just in general. Tony Monte. Daryl Sador. All right, uh, let's see. Yeah, these are just... Got Dave Anderchuk again. Some Dave Anderchucks. Jeff Daniels. It's kind of funny. It's Jeff Daniels and Jim Carrey. It's like, what? Dumb and dumber. Um, but yet not those guys. John Blue, I remember John Blue. Sanders Ozolinch, there's more, some more Joe Sackix. 
Interesting that the Joe Sackets. I mean, like I said, if you went through these in 93, you know, Joe Sackets, you know, I mean, he was solid for Quebec, but, you know, he, uh, you know, probably became more of a bigger star once they moved to Colorado and, you know, came, uh, you know, they won a cup and all that stuff. And Patrick Waugh joined them down there with, you know, Peter Forsberg and the likes, and they won some championships and became kind of a bigger star. Mike, Michael Pekka. Uh, I don't know what these are all about. World Junior Champions. I don't know if there's any hidden, like, rookie cards among these guys. I'm not sure. I don't really recognize any other than Michael Pecka. I don't really recognize any of these names. So, probably not. They're all sticking together. It's annoying. Uh-uh. <clears throat> Brendan Witt. All right. Yeah, this is this is more tedious than I thought it was going to be. Unfortunately, I mean, going with those first two boxes was you know was one thing, but like they those cards weren't sticking, and these ones are just sticking. Makes it a little bit more difficult. So I think I'm just gonna I'm going to uh, wrap it up. After this box, I'm just going to go through one of these boxes, and we'll do a part part three. Extend this out to a part three tomorrow, or or some point. Yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll, well, why not tomorrow? All right. What else we got in here? Jay Pandolfo, Anson Carter. Yeah, those are interesting ones. This might be something. I don't know if those are rookie. Is rookie technically or? I'll keep the Pandolfo out too. I don't know. I have no idea. This is why we go through this stuff. See what we got. Todd Harvey. Langenbrunner. Jeff Friesen. Remember Jeff Friesen? That sounds familiar. All right. Um, we're back to the regular cards again. Chris King. I remember Chris King. Rob Niedermeyer. Checklist. I was like, what? Is that upside down? Checklist. A lie old line. So again, before, uh, you know, we get to the end of this video, because this is taking forever, um, just want to thank everyone again. Um, I know this probably isn't the most exciting video ever that I've done, but uh, hopefully for the most part, I've these videos over the years have been enjoyable and thank you for subscribing and staying subscribed if you are uh in fact have stayed subscribed um and if you're not subscribed and for some reason you're watching this video and you're still with us <laughs> to this point of this video please do so please subscribe I'm trying to get to a thousand you know it took took no honestly i'm not gonna lie it took longer than i thought it would to get to 500 thought thought i'd be closer to a thousand by now um and I'm not, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to keep going because I'm just having fun doing this. Uh, you know, it's, it's never, I never was doing this for anything other than just for fun. I kind of wanted to get back into cards and started opening up cards and thought, you know, a lot of people are, you know, filming card openings and, and stuff these days and throwing it up on the internet and why not? Like, it seems like a cool thing. It seems like a fun thing to do. So I started doing it and still doing you know 500 subscribers so you know that's more than i thought i'd ever have i suppose but i was hoping hoping for more obviously and still hoping for more and 
you know, I think, I think we can keep building, building on the channel and, uh, you know, I'll keep doing it until I get bored with it, I, I suppose. <laughs> but, uh, it'd be nice to get to that point where you can actually maybe, you know, make some money and <laughs> that'd be fun. Uh, even though that was never really what it was about, but I was, you know, it would be a fun perk of it if I get there, but, you know, still I got a ways to go until we get to that. I know at 500 you can do something now, but I don't really quite understand. It's not the ad revenue that like you could do, like, subscribers and or something, but I don't really quite understand all that or how it works. Or, like, you can link to so I, I can't remember. I know there's that something at 500 that you can do, which... I don't know if I will or not, but or I'll have to look more into it anyways. To even figure out what it what it even is. But um you know, once you get to a thousands when you can get the ads ads and get money that way. Um, which, you know, you know, and obviously at a thousand you're probably not gonna make much money. I don't know. If you if you have a channel and you're over a thousand and you have, you know, bad stuff and you make money, let me know. I don't know how I, I honestly I don't know how it even works um i just see in the in the youtube studio it's like you're you're this far away from whatever you know thing so whatever whatever i don't know but yeah so thank you everyone who has subscribed and everyone that is watching this video that might subscribe or will subscribe or just did subscribe so thank you for that as we go Powell Burre that's a nice one Joe Sacco Owen Nolan solid player Owen Nolan Owen Nolan's a weird one because like I, I, I associate him um, you know obviously with the with the uh sorry the nordiques but then it's like i don't really remember like what happened like because i feel like he w was still with the team when they went to colorado but then he ended up with the sharks and he wasn't on like the championship teams like so but they won like their first year there so did he get traded during the year or, or was he ever, did he ever not did he not ever go to the avalanche maybe i don't know was he I don't know how that happened. Um, or what happened there. Um, that's another thing I'm going to have to look up, I guess. Alright. Keep going, keep going. Got some Joe Mullins. And a back to 93. Random 93. Uh, up, uh, uh, what am I trying to say? 93 Stadium Club. Peter Klima. Stefan Quintal. I was going to say he was in the Bruins for a little bit. A few years. Phil Housley. All right, we got our last little stack of bricks. Oh, we didn't. We know we don't. I forgot to finish going through this this stack of bricks. All right, these are more of these uh, world championships. World Junior Championships. And there ain't some Carter. Cabe, Marty Murray, Manny Fernandez, 
Not to be confused with the wrestler Manny Fernandez. It's Jason Allison. Okay, we were talking about him earlier. Richard Park. I remember Richard Park. Jay Pandolfo, I feel like I put him down somewhere. More Jay Pandolfos. John Varga. And that guy. All right. All right. Now we're down to the final pack of bricks. Stack of bricks. Whatever you want to call it. John Casey, I remember John Casey. The Bruins, Darren McCarty. What was I watching? I don't remember when Darren McCarty was randomly on something. I want to say it was WCW, like a Monday Nitro that he was randomly on. I don't remember what I I remember I was watching the Nitro. It was like some like list of random, random people that ran in during wrestling or something or did something. I feel like he, I feel like he ran in and did something during a Nitro or something. I could, I could be completely making that up, but for some reason I feel like he did. They were in Detroit, and like him and I feel like it was him and a couple other people maybe. Could be making that up. I'm gonna have to look that up. So what do I have to look up? Where, what, how did Olin Nolan get from the Nordiques to the Sharks? Did he ever play for the Avalanche? And then was Darren McCarty on an episode of Monday Nitro? <laughs> WCW Monday Nitro. Okay, that's my homework for for tonight, and then I'll get back to you tomorrow for part three. All right, uh, this final... Nope, we still got more to go. All right, now we're down to the final little stack here. I don't know, hopefully these other two boxes that I still have to go... They don't stick. I'm going to go through them real quick uh, tomorrow. Because uh, this is getting quite tedious. To say the least. Get to this finally get to these last cards. Sandy McCarthy round things out. Finally. Alright. So there we go. Uh this that box took forever. All those cards are sticking together. Uh, we did find some decent stuff. I don't know. I don't know if anything's worth anything, but we got some decent names in here. And I don't know if these are rookie cards or what these are. Potentially could be. I know the World Juniors could be rookie cards. Maybe not be rookie cards. I don't know. But we'll, I'll figure it out. And then I'll fi find out about Owen Nolan and Darren McCarty. And then I'll come back tomorrow and we'll do part three of the 500 subscriber celebration. Uh, so thank you everyone again for watching and if you're subscribed for one of those 500 thank you very much and if you're going to subscribe and become one of the next 500 get to 1000 thank you for that uh but yeah come back 
tomorrow for that video. But come back every day. I have videos posted every day, sometimes multiple days. Just hit that subscribe button, turn on the notifications. Get a notification every time videos up and ready to watch. Come over, watch it, like it, share it, comment, and all that fun stuff. Keyword this fun, just having fun here. That's what that's always has been about, just fun. So thank you everyone for watching. Stay safe, have fun. Talk to you next time. Bye.